Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Jansen. I'm Lucy. I'm Jack. I'm Kieran. In today's presentation, we are going to talk about the covalent between Toblerone and Gold Standard Whey Protein. Our objectives of this presentation would include following Overview of Toblerone, Overview of Gold Standard Whey, SWOT analysis of both brands, Co branding justification, STP, branding, marketing mix, and finally our conclusion and our future developments. Toblerone was the first product of Kraft Food Switzerland. The first Toblerone came onto the market in 1908, followed by the dark Toblerone in 1969 and the white Toblerone in 1973. It is exported in 110 countries across the world. Mintel in 2015 stated that sales volumes of chocolate bars have fallen by 4% between 2011 and 2015. Over the years, Toblerone have introduced new flavours including white, dark and nuts. Toblerone rival the big chocolate brands, including Cadbury, KitKat and Maltesers. Toblerone's customers would consist of snack and chocolate lovers, middle class people and people on the go. Gold Standard Whey Protein is a product of optimum nutrition. Gold Standard 100% Whey is the world's biggest selling whey protein. It delivers 24 grams of whey protein to support muscle growth. As stated by Mintel in 2015, sales of protein shakes and health supplements will continue to grow until 2020. Uh, again, stated by Mintel in 2015, 63% of adults have consumed food supplements in the last 12 months, either daily or occasionally. Whey protein is ranked as the number one protein product for muscle gain and cutting down. Its, its three main competitors are USM, Muscle Fitness and Synthesix. Whey's main customers are people who love working out and enjoy getting fit and being active. For the SWOT analysis of Toblerone, we will first look at the internal aspects, which is the strengths and weaknesses, followed by the external aspects, which is the opportunities and threats. For the strengths, it has a well-established brand identity. It also has a high brand loyalty. According to the Fine Chocolate Industry Association 2011, it is highly regarded as a global brand, thus a great taste and packaging. However, not it has not many varieties compared to its competitors. According to Mintel 2014, sales of chocolates and similar products were decreased due to the rise of more health conscious people. Opportunities by entering gro growing cities and developing countries, by expanding its product lines in to attract new customers. According to the Office of National Statistics 2015, consumer spending has increased significantly since 2011. Threats More and more similar products are entering the market. According to the keynote Food and Beverage 2015, the amount of obese people has increased significantly since the 90s, comprising of 61.9% of adults, up from 52.9% in 1993. Next is SWOT analysis of gold standard whey protein. For the strengths, it could be undertaken as a meal replacement that benefits health-conscious people, not just only those seeking weight loss. According to Mintel Report 2015, protein shake drinkers prefer having their shakes in chocolate flavor where it contributes to 28% of its gross sales. However, according to Food and Drug Administration 2013, consumers may dislike the product due to additional sweeteners and artificial flavorings. According to Mental Report 2014, sales of food supplements and other similar products are stagnant due to lack of product innovation. Opportunities by co-branding with a prominent brand to attract new customer base. According to Euromonitor International, more and more people are living a healthy lifestyle. Threats Taste and preference of consumers are changing rapidly due, depending on hot, on hot trends. Strict, it also has a strict regulatory and standardization requirements. Co-branding justification. Washburn et al. defines co-branding as a pairing of two or more branded products to form a separate or unique product in order to improve market exposure, fend off threats of new brands, and share expensive promotional costs. So why should Gold Standard Way co-brand with Toblerone? Our first justification would be co-branding would give Gold Standard Way access to Toblerone's existing customer base. Second, as we pointed out in the SWOT analysis that most protein shake drinkers prefer having their shake in chocolate flavor, with this Toblerone will, will be a perfect blend for our target market. Third, as also pointed out in the SWOT analysis that food supplement market is declining due to stagnant sales. With this, by combining Toblerone with Gold Standard Whey Protein, it will give us competitive advantage because we are offering a new and unique product. Lastly, consumers can consume Toblerone in a much healthier way. Devin Simcom describes segmentation as a process of grouping similar consumers of business customers together 
in a market segment in which their consumers or business customers exhibit similar requirements. For segmentation variables, we're going to focus on three segmentation strategies, which are demographic, psychographic and behavioristic. For demographic variables, we'll be looking at 18 to 40 year olds, mostly male, middle to upper class. For psychographic variables, the personality attributes such as healthy, active people, which like to go to the gym and like to try new products. For behavioristic variables, we'll focus on price sensitivity, People who still buy the product will regard the price changes. Brand loyalty, which is people who still prioritise the brand with regards to product innovation and development and benefit expectations. Quality and proven effective food supplement for people who consume it regularly. So this is our ideal customer profile. This is James, 25 year old, male, studying sports science and nutrition at Nottingham Trent University. His hobbies would be going to the gym and playing sports and enjoys looking good and likes trying something new. Hey and John for describe targeting as the decision about which market segment an organisation decides to prioritise for its sales and marketing efforts. Um, looking at the concentrated strategy uh, between 18 and 40 year olds, middle to upper class and people that like to get into shape. Provide our company with much tailorised marketing mix and other services, um, more effective than using a differentiated strategy uh, so we will focus our whole marketing mix in our specific target customer. Concentrated targeting will allow the newly established brand collaboration to focus its efforts upon a niche in a well-established segment of the market. This will help to reduce the marketing costs uh, and also give, give Mosley and Craft Foods direct comparisons of sales of Tolverine whey protein products compared to the existing product line from Optimum Nutrition. A concentrated strategy will provide the customer with a tailored campaign rather than using an ultimate targeting strategy. Uh, Toblerone has no or little presence in gym board market segment. However, many of the consumers of Optimum Nutrition will be aware of the brand, but simply unlikely to be regular customers of Toblerone uh, due to the negative effects on the health of the athlete. The collaboration of Toblerone and Optimum Nutrition opens Toblerone up to the health conscious new market, a niche market, um, and the global presence of the Toblerone brand will add value to the whey protein product um, plus increasing sales. According to Kotler and Armstrong, positioning is arranging for a product to occupy a clear, distinctive and desirable place relative to competing products in the minds of the consumers. We will position our product in the high price and high quality quadrant because we are offering a high premium quality product. We also have developed a positioning statement, quality supplement, it's got to be gold standard. Branding is a marketing practice in which consists of creating a name and logo designed to identify and differentiate one product from another. Uh, it has several benefits, uh, increasing sales, add more value to the product, attract new markets, product innovation and development, uh, consistency in the marketplace, which basically means that it, the more often uh, people see your product in the market, uh, more often they are willing to buy to a brand loyalty which means the more often uh, customers buy your products the more often they tend to become a brand loyal and brand recognition according to baker 2006 marketing mix is a set of marketing program activities designed to implement an agreed target market strategy it consists in four p's place promotion price and uh, product. Product, goods or service provided by company to their customers. Uh, this is our product, um, gold standard whey protein to the run flavor. According to the Armstrong and Kotler, uh, product can be seen at three levels, uh, actual level, core and augmented. The core product is a benefit and we are offer a new improved taste by combining the flavor of Toblerone in gold standard whey protein. Um, actual product um, has to do with packaging. Our manufacturers uh, produce the pack packaging, name, logo, design. Uh, it includes size variation. It doesn't have any artificial sweeteners and these are approved by BBA. According to the Kotler and Armstrong uh, augmented product, is an additional, additional consumer services which includes free delivery, free dietary plan, uh, free protein shaker, 
workout plans and 20% off of our membership. We have decided to use two pricing methods. The first being competition-based pricing, uh, which is a pricing method in which a seller uses prices of competing products as a benchmark instead of considering own costs or the customer demand. And we'll also be using psychological pricing, which uses the customer's emotional response to encourage sales um, in the uh, odd pricing strategy. Uh, we've decided on two different sizes. Uh, we've got uh, 74 servings and 50 servings. 74 servings is £46.99 and the 50 servings is £43.79. We believe our Toblerone protein will be a premium product. According to Shopcentric survey, uh, survey of 1,000 customers, 76% said product quality was the key defining feature of a premium product. Uh, we will be using the three C's to help us determine the price of our product. The first is customer based, where the seller makes a decision based on what the customer can justify paying. Therefore, we believe um, customers will expect to pay more for a healthy product. The second being cost based, where a fixed sum or a percentage of the total cost is added as income or profit to the cost of the product to arrive at its selling price such as the raw materials, the overheads, or the manufacturing costs. And lastly, the competition based, where a seller uses prices of a company's products as a benchmark instead of considering own costs or the customer demand. Calter and Armstrong describe place as about making the product available to the customer. Using their distribution channel, we're going to adapt by using business to customer, multi-channel, direct and indirect distribution, Direct will be online purchase and indirect will be purchasing through accredited retailers. Using the selective distribution, we'll be using the website, e-commerce platforms such as Amazon and eBay and fitness centres. Russia's role is to provide a list of communication methods which can be used separately or ideally together to accomplish communication objectives. Creation of an integrated communication and good coordination of our marketing tools Mass communication methods and direct communication methods. Integrated marketing communication is a management process through which an organisation enters into a dialogue with its various audiences. An organisation develops and presents the message from its identified stakeholders group and evaluates and acts upon the response received. The benefits of integrated marketing communication are greater clarity, uh, consistent messages, stronger impact, and increase in awareness and rec recognition. Due to the specified target market, the new Tobler All Weight Protein products will be using primarily a direct marketing promotional strategy. Direct marketing is the term that is used to describe the distribution of products, information and promotional benefits to target consumers through interactive communication in a way that allows the response to be measured. We will be using direct marketing in the form of flyers distributed in gyms, um, advertised on bodybuilding communities, uh, UK Body Power Expo, uh, using digital marketing, uh, which is effective use of social media platforms, uh, getting feedback and reviews that help us help to improve the products, um, and developing an app that allows to access free exercise videos, fitness blogs, um, interactive map, and locate the nearest gold standard way protein retailer. As a future development, we'll be bringing out new product ranges. Um, at which point we might be able to use mass communication methods uh, such as advertising, app link endorsements, marketing publicity, uh, sales promotion, coupons and site magazines um, to retain customer loyalty. So for our conclusion, Mintel 2015 has identified that the growth of sports supplement market segment has evolved beyond the traditional niche fitness and bodybuilder to a broader range of lifestyle. Washburn et al. argues that upon the successful launch of Toblerone whey protein supplement, another similarly branded product at a lower but still premium price point could be marketed efficiently through advertising the collaborative brand with appropriate marketing tools to target the segment to exploit the full potential of the collaboration. So in the future, we'll be looking to future developments such as a wider range of flavors, uh, such as Oreo, um, Maltesers and Crunchy, uh, protein shakes in bottles, uh, protein bars, um, we'll be looking to supply to possibly retailers such as Tesco and Asda and also maybe even look into creating a partnership with um, such as fitness centres. 
Um, added to this, it has been identified that the growth of sports supplement market segment has evolved beyond the tra tradition niche fitness bodybuilder to a broader range of lifestyle. It is my argument that upon a successful launch of the Toblone whey protein supplement of a similarly, similarly branded products at a lower but still premium price point could be marketed to multiple market segments using a differentiated market stra marketing strategy. Advertising a collaborative brand differenti differently to each segment to exploit the full potential of the collaboration. So these are references. Thank you for listening.